Hey, Adam Colbertson here. Before we begin, we got a promo from another independent podcast, so when you finish this episode, make sure you go and check them out. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monster Hour, an actual play podcast about going to school, arguing with your parents, and ruining your favorite outfit while hunting horrible monsters. Narrative-driven and crisply edited with painfully relatable characters. Monster Hour follows unlikely heroes JR. Super suspicious. That's sort of my deal. Constance. I may be a bit of a know-it-all, but I might actually know it all. And Alvin. I'm monstrous. As they unravel the sinister mysteries of a strange Colorado town. If you're a fan of Stranger Things, Buffy, or the Adventure Zone Amnesty, you'll love Monster Hour. Tune in for new episodes every other Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Steal your mind for eldritch horrors of the universe unknown. For what is to follow is a tale of intrigue, mystery, and madness. You're listening to Microphones and Monsters. Alistair. Um, so first, I just want to clarify that if this house is indeed alive and can take damage, it is currently within the beam. You don't notice that the house has taken any damage. I, ju- I just want to make sure that yeah, you're I know, aware I know, of that. I, I, I am totally aware of it, yes. Okay. <laughs> He's right. the only one totally aware of what's happening. It, okay. doesn't, it doesn't seem like you don't see... Like, like I said, I don't, I don't even need to know what's happening. I just want to yeah. make sure that you know. No, that... I know, I know. <laughs> um, but you don't seem to uh, notice any damage being done to the house. Okay. Um, so, um, what, what I'd like you to... You just killed two? I just killed two more. There's so four left, but you don't if, see them. Right? No, there's what, two what left. Like, there were six, two backed into the thingy, and then that's I right. Two. Yes, there's two left. Yeah, I'm sorry. So what I'd like to kind of do here is kind of um, try try and because if we have the the beam here and I'm kind of like over here, yeah, like I want to try and like kind of scoop behind the beam as much as I can, okay, so that we can kind of like move the beam like into the hall. I just want to kind of be able to see what I'm doing with that. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 You can you can see. Uh, you see, you see an opening. It's it's really bright, but you see an opening, and you see uh, Julian like pressed up against a wall, and you see this wall of hands, and like one of the arms is like coming, coming out, and like grabbing Julian's shoulder, and Victor is just uh, covered in blood, and you just Wailing see him like puppies. like just just like he's like in an attack position, and he's just covered in blood, and and um and he's just yelling, he's just like ah. <laughs> okay. Um. And you see two hounds. Left. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move the uh, the beam like up into those hounds that are there. Okay. So as you do, they just burst into flames and disappear, <laughs> and there's no more hounds left. Oh, uh, hey guys, uh, how are you doing? I've been better. Do you have a towel? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Is Julian still getting massaged by this? Well, <laughs> are we out of battle? Yeah, you're out of battle. All right, okay. All right, I, uh, I'm I'm immediately taking out this hand axe, and then I'm gonna start whacking away at these hands. So you you turn around with your hand axe, mm-hmm. and the wall is not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not at the wall. At specifically DM Adam. <laughs> Adam appears and gets hacked to death by Doctor Julian. Cottage. The arms come and pull me away, and, yes. and I. Absorb into the wall. <laughs> that doesn't take damage from moonbeams. That does like take damage fucking from DMs with their power over the world. <laughs> <laughs> fucking watcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you're alive. <laughs> but why? Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Is is the beam still up? 
Or did you drop it? No, I haven't dropped it. Okay, yet. okay. <laughs> I just I could just see him through the beam in not uh, hounds. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we um, uh, this house is fucked, in my professional opinion. Um, yeah, it is a very strange house at that. Um, although it seems that the uh, hound, or at least the hounds that were here, problem is no longer a factor. Although. I did find something very strange down there in the basement. It seemed like a kind of bedding area that may have been for a larger dog, one that might be somewhat um, flamey or Green. magma-y. Uh, funny you should say that. Uh, we uh, were trying to uh, trying our hardest to try to get the latch open, and we couldn't find anything to get it open, so we wandered the house to see if we could find another way to get down into the cellar, and on vest- upstairs... <laughs> We went upstairs. <laughs> yes, that, that explains perfectly why you went upstairs. <laughs> to see if there was another way down. And we stumbled across a room that had a uh, had another pile of bones. A, 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 I would Maybe they're comparable in size. I don't know what you saw. Uh, I did see several, several, several sets of empty clothes. And, and I'll pull out the IDs. These ID cards, which are the people that have been missing. So the missing people have ended here. Did Alistair see the wall before it disappeared? Yeah, he saw the okay. wall. He saw he saw Julian like yeah. up against it, and, mm-hmm. and one of the arms was like coming out yeah. at him, and it just disappeared like 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 snap, it's gone. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah, I guess Alistair would have seen it. Uh, just like the the arms just like came down really fast, and it turned into a, like they came out of the floor, and it just turned into a regular wood floor. Um, but but as Julian turned around, he turns around and it's not there anymore. Yeah, and in addition to the bones, there there are bones in the wall and of the wall, and you saw the wall that was behind us, and it's very confusing. And I'm covered in blood, and I'm uncomfortable. Hmm. That is curious indeed. Why would you be uncomfortable covered in blood? Um, so it's it's probably about at a minute now. Like the the moonbeam can only last uh, up to a minute. So okay, weird. It it'll just kind of disappear at this point. Okay, you don't have a spell that can clean me off, do you? Uh, actually, it's, it's called, funny that you it's asked. Called oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. It's like it's called water, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, let me know when you find a working faucet in this nightmare. <laughs> no, do you have a do you not have a water skin on you? What kind of adventure are you? I just want you to know the only reason I'm doing this is so that you're ingratiated to me. Don't accept it. Don't accept it. <laughs> I've seen this movie. It ends poorly. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to agree to this? No, you don't. <laughs> Cat the fuck off. He said I'm doing this. He's already doing it, whatever. Yeah, he's doing, doing I mean, it. <laughs> I mean, if you actively want to be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> just go ahead and do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Prestidigitation. Okay. Awesome. Um, one of one of the effects of which is to uh, soil or clean, uh, like uh, laundry or like clothes or really? whatever. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, uh, thank you so much. I I don't like blood. I'm also gonna cast. Um, he wounds on himself. Yeah, and all the and all and like like the blood absorbed into the wall, the blood that was on the floor, like that was landing on the floor, it all absorbed into the house. How much damage did you take? Four. Four. I'm down to 24 HP. And I took five. Um, How do I have more hit points? You rolled better. Oh, okay. Well, I'll I'll cast um, Healing Word on uh, Victor. That'll be 1d4 plus 4 healing. Doesn't matter what you roll. I max out. It's an (laughs) 8. I maxed it out. You were feeling even better than you did before. No, I'm not. I had 28 to start with, so I'm back at 28. (laughs) You literally could have rolled anything. I'm back to max HP. It was the low, was the lowest healing spell yeah. I had too. Yeah. Hmm. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Alistair. Okay, so I want to get the fuck out of this house, mansion, whatever. I I also would like to leave as soon as possible. Any ideas? How do we do this? Well, the last that I checked, the front door was still not working. Want to check the other hallway? Have we tried blasting or cutting through the front door? I'm up into those options at this point. Um, I am not against those options, okay. but I... 
I get the feeling it probably would not be that simple. I think it's possible somehow we're underground. The walls in the room behind us. Where'd you get the underground part from? The walls in the room behind us, are there's dirt behind it. And there's no fair, windows. <laughs> no windows would be a good um, indicator. I mean, you couldn't really have windows if they just pointed into dirt. I mean, you could. It'd look bad. Just open the curtains and there's dirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's see if we can... Uh, we won't, let's, let's, let's show you the room that we, we, we first encountered. Let's go the, back the in the bones. <laughs> Why not? The last time we came out of that room, there were hounds. Well, and we did with the hounds marvelously. The, the hounds got slaughtered, as All it right. were. Go back in the room, and then. I and I burned one healing spell, and I have one more left, so we're perfectly fine. At least we know that maybe there's nothing else coming, and maybe we can get the rest of the IDs. Well, um, I don't know if there are any more hounds coming, but at least the ones that were in the basement, uh, which ended up being fifteen, by the way, because uh, some machine was down there, uh, seemingly creating them. Machine creating the hounds. Yes. You saw this. Well, I know that the uh, whistling got very, very intense and then stopped all of a sudden, and there was suddenly a 15th hound. Are you sure you just you did the you did soth- the yeah. check? Oh, yeah, I yeah. forgot I did the yuxothery check. Yeah, I was check. about to yeah, point yeah, that yeah. out. Uh, that's what I forgot shit. Um, <clears throat> did, you, did, you, did you destroy this machine? Well, yes, of course. Oh, good. I mean, I am nothing if not destructive. So there's a machine that can I, make dogs? I would, I would agree with this. I don't think those are dogs. Usually when dogs touch them or hit them, for whatever reason why you want to hit a dog, they usually stick around. Part of it stuck around. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> so dark. <laughs> you got really bad. Like, you were doing really good on the other episodes. Like, oh, it's so kind, Victor. M- puppy murder. <laughs> Making up for all of that good karma. <laughs> those, th- those things were not puppies. They were, pretty, they were small. They were not they endearing were in dogs. any way. They were, they were adult, adult dogs. dogs that were vicious in attacking they us were like and other adult people. adult chihuahuas. <laughs> no, it's hound. Just, it's just like a hound dog. <laughs> I'm a hound dog. I'm a hound dog. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Why did you hit me, Mr. Monk? <laughs> Imagine I mean, if I could listen to their internal monologues. Even the one that gave you the puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Especially the one with the puppy dog eyes. I think if something's trying to kill me actively, then it doesn't deserve my sympathy <laughs> yeah. um, uh, to a point. Like, I didn't want to kill the hound earlier because we had it restrained. To, to be fair, we attacked first. <laughs> what like the hounds that were coming you, up at if us if you think back to yeah, the actual yeah, combat yeah so when we started combat you're the first one who started hitting them right because they were they were pushing us into a creepy wall no, of hands no they stopped remember they were like <laughs> yeah so jittery. we're just gonna stay in there in between the, the, the pack of dogs it's okay it's and done the, now and no, the we, creepy <laughs> hand we, wall we could've we could've you, after the session is over you're telling us if those dogs could've stopped or not okay okay no, it did. It, 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 <laughs> Victor's integrity is not compromised in any way. He does not feel any guilt uh, towards yeah. killing produced ghost right, hounds. Rightfully that so. Good. Him. I, good. As you know, good. That's we're, right. We're, we're attacking me. His integrity it's, is still intact. It's within my go. character okay. to have protected you. I don't I'm, think it's that big of a deal. Coward I'm, I'm next proud. to the creepy hand. I'm proud. Yeah. You're making progress. <laughs> You are not corrupting Victor. (laughs) 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 Okay. Um, Yeah, we need we we need to leave. So um, uh, we try the front door. We can try the dirt wall. We didn't really get close to the dirt wall. We knew the house didn't like us getting close to the dirt wall because those uh, hands manifested as soon as we got close to it. What if the hands are just supposed to pull you through? We didn't stick around long enough to try that because we knock yourself hounds. out, Alistair. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be very good at getting through stuff and then not coming back. <laughs> were, you, were y'all going to go collect the rest of the IDs? I know y'all mentioned doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah, yeah that makes that. sense. Just in case, the, yeah, just we need a, a document of like everything yeah. we can find. The only place that we haven't explored is the locked downstairs and the other hallway. Yeah, upstairs. we didn't go to the other hallway. Let's at least go back, grab the rest of the stuff from the clothes, the rest of the IDs, yeah, and then go to the hallway we didn't visit. 
Maybe Alistair could um, leave that pillar of light up in the hallway to keep anything else from coming. It's at already us. gone. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's gone. No, he did. I thought he it just only lasts a minute. It only lasts. Oh, a minute. Mi- okay, last a minute. Got it. Sorry. That's fine. And it only lasts as long as I concentrate up to a minute. Yeah. So, Makes sense. Uh, after, like, y'all go through the IDs as, as a group effort. It doesn't take uh, too long. I'd say about, uh, um, like, 10, 15 minutes total, just, just going through all the pockets and, and trying to find everything you can as far as identification and, and stuff did like they, that. Do they have any money in this Yeah, pockets? I was going to ask, did we find anything else besides their identification? Um. Yeah, uh, there's... there's uh, just a, a copper, silver, occasional gold pieces. I would say a, a total of uh, fifteen gold in in worth worth of money uh, between all all of uh, the the pockets that okay. you go through. Stash that five each. Yeah, no, five each. We're all searching, so we all probably would have found comparable amounts. So that makes sense. Yeah, you're finding a mixture of, of copper, silver, and, and gold. No platinum. I, th- I think <laughs> these people would want want us to have it. Uh, to uh, to try to find out what happened to them. Oh yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, use it as um um um, uh, use it for um for, for burial rites. Yeah, that thing. So, y- you get all the IDs, and as you you like count them, like you do recognize every, just about every single person um on the list of of missing people that you have, which is a very, uh, pretty pretty decent sized list, but it's. You know that it's not all of the people on the list. Like, it's only just a portion. Okay. Well, I mean, if nothing else, uh, God, no, what's his, a few cre- what, something Creel, Astro Creel's husband was on the list. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, but we know what happened to him. So it, it's not every missing person, but you do find a, we'll just say 15, 15 people off of the list. And there's like, maybe like. Sixty people total on the list. Yeah. Whoa! I didn't remember. Do we? Do we even know no, that? I never told you. Yeah. Oh, we that's a lot of fucking people. But yeah, this, it's a. It like I've said before, Darkwell isn't a small. Like it's a city. A it's city. not a town. It's yeah. a city, and it's it's fairly big. Okay, sixty shit. All right. Like it's a very big city. Okay. Um, yeah, that's twenty five percent. It has that's a lot of people. I mean. Sixty percent is not an insignificant number. No, it's by not any an insignificant means, number. I mean, tr- it's I also mean, it's also not like oh well, you know, the majority of the town's just gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. sixty people, um, and and like when y'all put it on the board, it's all spread out all over the town, like you, of both districts and and both sides of town too. So, hmm. okay. Well, all right, we got that. Yeah. So, so now we got two options. Uh, we can check out the other hallway upstairs, or we can go downstairs and see if anything's changed. I think we should. Check the other hallway. I don't know what you guys think. It couldn't hurt. I, well, know, I know this is kind of a dead end for us. Especially based on your theory about being underground. Uh, perhaps the other hallway upstairs would possibly be fruitful. Yeah, maybe there's a way to a surface or something. Okay, so you make your way to that other hallway? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so at the end of it, you see the exact same picture that you saw on the other side, where it's it's a hallway... The floor is unfinished at the end. You see the door at the very end. Nothing else in the hallway. No furniture, mm-hmm. no decorations, nothing, no windows. And uh, you go inside the room, and it's the exact same room on the other side of the hallway. On the other like hallway. Like the exact it's same the, room? You see the pile of clothes. You see the pile of bones. You see the unfinished corner. And we see, like, Are any noticeable ID? things that, like, oh, we left this shirt laying further oh, away from yeah, the pile. Oh, yeah, totally. So it the, looks the exact same way you left the other room are on the, the other are side like, of there's the no, house. And there's no IDs in the clothes or anything like that? Yeah, you go through it, no IDs. Like, it's already picked through. Um, you No no coins, no IDs, nothing. It's not a similar room. It's the exact same physical space. Hmm. I'm curious. Um, stay here and leave the door open. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to go over to the other room. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you walk in the room with, with both of them. Was the door already yes, open the door when was I got already there? Open, yeah. Wait, so we... Okay, so how I did we... you were going to the other room. No. So how did... So wait, so how did we... So what if we left the door open? You did leave the door open. So we left the door open, and then he, from his preferred view, he walked into the room with both of us standing there. Yes. What did we see? You wa- you watched him walk into the you watched him wa- leave the room and then after a short amount of time you 
watched him walk back do, into do the room. Do they actually see but me? Like, like, but like, if we were looking down the hallway, would we see him walking? Oh yeah, yeah. You actually you see him. Did uh, we see him turn you a corner? See him that turn the, a corner, and then you see him come back. So we see him turn a corner, corner that doesn't no, exist. It's the opposite side. So we see him come around the corner. So we see him leave, go, go leaving us, turning the corner, uh, and then comes back the same way towards us. Yeah. Like around the same corner or we on see the other, him side? Go to other the, side? We see him go to the right, and then he comes... From from their point of view, that's what it looks and like. And then he comes from the left. Yes. Okay. From their point of view, yes. Okay, I think we should go downstairs. Yeah, I'm done with those stairs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, one more thing. We should all leave the door as close to it at the same time as possible. Wait, I'm sorry, what? All of us should just exit as... as like quickly behind one another as we can. I'm just curious where we all end up. Okay. As a matter of fact, perhaps one of you should leave, then I should leave, and then the other should leave. I think we should hold hands while we leave. I'm not touching. <laughs> your, your hand is. Oh, your hand was covered in puppy blood. Now it's just figuratively covered in puppy blood. Um, I la uh, la. Didn't see you hit any demon dogs. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you give me back those those hit points? I would. I would really. I would take them back now if you don't mind. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Nah, I have this one. Uh, I'll I'll go first actually. I'll I'll walk through and start heading towards um the stairwell. And I'll try and like kind of follow him as immediately as possible. And then Victor's yeah. phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you all you all three walk out. You're all together in the hallway now. Mm-hmm. Y- yes, but which side? Walk to the end of the hallway. <laughs> so you walk to the end of the hallway. Okay. Wait, I thought I thought the entire idea was that we're. I mean, is it not that we have like kind of a split here? We go off this way. Is the the door not on the same side of the hall, or is it one of those kind of like? It's at the it's very on, end. It's on. It's at the very end. Yeah, like it's you at go the very the end. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. What happens at the end of the hallway? <laughs> so um, when you get to the end of the hallway, um, the kind of, the layout's kind of different, and uh, you have a, a pathway that goes left and right. We've broken the house, guys. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think the house broke us. I, don't, okay. I think it's quite the opposite. So, so I'm gonna go straight, <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking either direction. Get a red to a wall. Uh, you see uh, stairs on both directions. If you if you look to the right, there's just a wall in front of you, and then there's stairs that go um, away from the hallway that you just came from. So, like instead of the two that kind of came up and met, it's like they're kind of shooting off in different directions now. Okay, so you it's like a fork. You went down. Okay, so you, instead of going left or right, depending mm-hmm. on which hallway you went down, you're now, when you go down the hallway, it turns left and right, and you got a wall in front of you. And then if you go if you go right, there's a stairwell. There's a stairs that go left. If you go left, there's stairs to the right. Okay, if so... If you take a turn out of that hallway. Okay, I th- think oh. I follow now. I think we should just pick one and go... Is there, is there anything further happening. down the hall past the stairs? No, it's just a wall. Okay. All right. Uh, evens, left, odd, right. It's a six. That's even. Left. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, was I didn't know if you were sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you go left, and, and you get to the stairs, and you uh, you look down the stairs, and it's the, the front door area, like, uh, Perfect. We'll down, just go down the stairs. Perfect. Perfect. Right. No, get the fuck out of here. All right, I, so, I just want to turn around and look. Like, does it look like it did originally? Are you or still it, at the top? Like, like, I want to get out on the stairs and okay. then kind of turn around and look. And it looks like it used to look, not how it, you just walked out of it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I have a hatchet. I'm going to hack at the store because I really want to get out of and here. And like, I'm like done. this whole time, like you're actually picking up on the same things that they've picked up on this whole time. That you feel like something's constantly watching you, and you're hearing whispers, and you 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 see the the walls kind of shift every now and then. Like like maybe some some arms will like like some hands will like come through a little bit like out of the wood and and like back into the house, and it looks like it's kind of playing tricks on your on your eyes. All right, I'm ready to leave. Yep, cool. Hatchet door. 
Because you're not being distracted by anything anymore, and you're you're really <laughs> picking up on these things now. Cool. Right. I am in front of the front door. I am taking out my hatchet, and I am going to hit this door. I hit the door. It it doesn't even cause a scratch. For two, like it just for, bounces for, off the door for three yeah. damage. Yeah, it just bounces you do off three the door. damage to nothing. And they nothing no happens. To be ever. fair, to be fair, three damage would do a lot of damage to a door. We're gonna be stuck in this house for well, the like, next it, five it, it episodes. It seems like like you kind of like it kind of did something, but it it immediately like, like like as you pull it out, like it's it's like all the splinters untouched, and stuff like yeah. that fix itself. Yeah. Um, you could try opening it again. I mean, oh, well, this house seems to change a lot. I'm gonna try to open the door. It doesn't open. Doesn't change enough, apparently. Anyone <laughs> else? There's a kitchen. <laughs> can make dinner. There's you no mentioned, food in there. You mentioned the locked door. Did you just mean the front door here, or was there something else when you went looking? Uh, the bottom side of the house behind us, uh, it, it, the side with not not kitchen and dining room. <laughs> the side with not kitchen. The not kitchen wing of the house. Um, none of those doors would open. I guess we could go try them now. Like, I like to imagine that's just how Victor sees the world. Now. I, I'm it's imagining not kitchen, kitchen and not rooms kitchen. over there. <laughs> I, I'm, imagining, I'm imagining this as the freaking Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil, and like it keeps changing, and I'm going insane, <laughs> even though I, it hasn't changed. I'm just bad at pathfinding. <laughs> right. This is this is ten year old me trying to play Resident Evil, and I'm losing my mind because I'm lost. <laughs> I swear this room was here last yes. time. Yes, and yeah. then dogs also kill me, so it's pretty it's pretty yeah. accurate now all right so at this point y'all have been disturbed uh, a pretty good bit um Mm -hmm. by by especially like uh you noticing the bones Mm -hmm. on the bed uh Mm -hmm. vic or alistair noticing the bones on the bed victor noticing the bones and and, the hand coming out of the wall in the wall um where the bones were protruding and you seeing the the hand, the, the hand, wood hands, the oh, the pile of clothes, all oh, the, the dead people, clothes, yeah. everything. Yeah, and getting like, getting a neck massage from the wall. Yeah, the the, the walls trying <laughs> oh, to grab you yeah. in particular. <laughs> yeah. Um. And and like, y'all just tried to go through the front door again. You tried to break it. Uh. Everybody, give me a dread save at this point. Hey, haven't had one of those in a You've while. You've already succeeded automatically for one of them already. Um. With your dread resistance, this is beyond your dread and resistance. And it's just a D20? Point. Yeah, D20. Oh, I don't uh, know. Uh, it's a uh, wisdom. Also, you're rolling wisdom. Oh, we're rolling wisdom. Also, okay. oh, that also makes keep in mind that if you're proficient in yog Authority, that you will have a penalty equal to half your proficiency bonus. Nice. Yes. I rolled... Wait, what? What's your proficiency bonus? My proficiency bonus is plus two. And do you have Yogg's thought? Yes. Okay, so you'll get uh, minus one to your wisdom roll. Minus one to my wisdom roll. So yeah, or your wisdom check. I'm sorry. So so just to, okay. So my D twenty rolled a three. My wisdom modifier is plus two, so minus one. So I got a four. I'm going to go ahead and burn my card. Okay. Um, I, get, I got for a the, seven. The plus three. Uh, just to get what I can out of it, which will be a uh, total of 16. Okay. Uh, Victor and Julian are disturbed. Well, we already knew that, but... (laughs) (laughs) What does disturbed do? We're about to find out. Normally, you would have to make a wisdom save against Dread DC to move closer to the source of Dread, Um, but... You don't really know what the source of dread it's is. It's the house yet. for us, yeah. Um, so, like, you're just you're you're trapped basically, and you are just you're at one one level of dread right now. Okay, and so we're trapped. We're at one level of dread, and if somehow we encounter a specific source of dread, we won't be able to move any closer to that. There can be multiple sources of dread. Okay. But if we like notice your, one your, specifically... Your dread at this point is just everything that you've experienced. Um, the house and, and just... Uh, you're, you're, you're trapped at this point. So are we just sort of So I'm not going to make there? y'all... I'm not going to make y'all roll against moving in the house. Yeah. Like okay. that, that's just dumb. But you are disturbed and you can go higher levels of dread. Yeah. You're at one right now. And what do we need to do? How is it just a time limit on on how long it is, or a stimulus limit, or something like wh- the source of dread goes away? Like how long is this effect in effect for a 
effectively. Right, right. And that was nice. Okay. Nicely put. So uh, <laughs> this would be a minor uh, disturbing discovery um, where you, you're, you're just feeling kind of hopeless, lost, uh, like like stuck. To be uh, fair, trapped. I personally was feeling that way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> way to get you're, real, guy. You're feeling trapped. It would take you an hour of... Uh, it would take you an hour to get over this. How long have we been in this house? Like since we t- teleported That's from the little hut. That's a very good point. And 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 does time happen yeah. normally in the house? Well, let's See, not... that's more my thought on this. <laughs> well, space doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. So <laughs> leave, and it'll be eighty years in the future. <laughs> oh God! Don't say don't you, don't say things like that. No, we're that. not at that point yet. <laughs> <laughs> come out and there's flying cars this is heavy um so uh you have been in the house uh a total of i mean i would say you're probably approaching an hour and and we're tired it's nighttime it's yeah, it's, it's probably nighttime. like y'all, nine y'all ten o'clock a, at yeah, night we stayed up y'all had a full day yeah yeah um and i didn't and, even get to take a nap you got to go to the dreamlands I mean, it's not quite the same. But I would say since the since the hounds were released, uh, that was probably around thirty minutes ago. Okay. Um, because y'all did a lot. Y'all gathered all the right. all the stuff. Y'all were dealing with the rooms, like being the same room and doing all that stuff. And uh, so you've you've spent a total of of about an hour in the house. Okay. Wow, we went crazy in an hour. Yeah, we are adventurers. <laughs> Although I would point out, because you're going crazy, it may not even be an hour. Oh yeah, no, I'm aware. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is Max speaking. This is not Julian speaking. So, but there's like you've checked every other door except, in the house, except for like, the one. We didn't check the one on the on the bottom floor right wing. It didn't open. You did check oh, every we did. door. So we, we rechecked it. Yeah, uh, you rechecked we, it. We were rechecking it, and that's probably when the dread kicked in. Is mm. there's nothing. Yeah, you get the same result as you as you have before, and you're you're trapped. And re- literally, the only rooms that you can go into are the ones that you've gone into already, and nothing has changed. Can, have we tried? Uh, I mean, I don't know if we didn't say we did. Have we tried going back down the trap door? No, if you want to, we haven't tried that yet. If you if you try going down there, it looks the same. You could tell that that uh, Alistair had blasted it a couple times, mm-hmm. and it, it's broken. Okay. And Alistair, if you do get close to it, you do not hear that whistle anymore. Good. You you broke it. Um, Al- Alistair, did you do anything else down here earlier when you were down here? Just crawled around a bit. Um, if you look behind the curtain, there's a bed that I think belonged to our uh, green magma dog friend. Can I just can I just pull the curtain? Yeah, you can pull the curtain. I'm gonna pull the curtain. Are you pulling it down or just pulling it to the pulling side? It to the side. Yeah. Okay. You see you see a a, a bed there, and you can see where it was like kind of like a corner was lifted up where Alistair had looked underneath it. If you want to check that more. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of sift through the bone pile and see if I can find anything in the bone pile uh, besides you, bones. You just find bones. Uh, you do see uh, quite a bit of, of leg bones, um, like femurs and, mm-hmm. and uh, like shin bones and all that kind of stuff. Uh, seem to be a lot of those there. Um, and you do see a lot of uh, cat skulls, actually. And you do see this cat skull on the wall that's just like sticking out of the wall. Mm-hmm. Why is that one on the wall and everyone else is in the bed? That's a fair question, and I don't have an answer. What kind of dogs don't eat bones? He sleeps on them. That is... <laughs> that is the question. Perhaps right he just has so many he's just hoarding these and hasn't eaten them yet. Yeah, like a cat does with pillows. Except he doesn't eat them. He just hoards them. Well, I suppose we all hoard something, right? Do hoard ill will towards both of you a lot. <laughs> so you would be right. So I guess we will uh, end it there. Yeah. I'd, oh, I need time. Yes, I need a nap. <laughs> so I have succumbed on, to before, dread. Before we go, um, are y'all going to try and rest now? Um, I'm going to be napping. Yeah, okay. I, I think we need to. Cause like, Where do you want to rest at? Not in the cellar <laughs> okay. where there's the giant dog bed. I think probably... 
probably like the main area when we first got in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna be the so best y'all spot. just y'all just basically setting up camp in the main area and and I'm, I mean taking that, taking a the rest. front door and the staircases can, and everything. Can you guys think of a better spot? Don't say the kitchen. We don't have food. I have food. Do you, you got rations on me? Oh, well, I mean, those, I, those are but those aren't. The, I would well, hope everybody would have some kind of ration. Yeah, I have ration. Yeah. I have rations on me, but you you, you need special rations. I know. He has special rations. I keep. Oh. I keep. Said, those are my rations. The, yeah, his oh, rations okay. are what he eats. I, I have other I, rations wouldn't do him any yeah. good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I still have. I still have like a few rations from uh from the previous bodies. You know, and, and you could have. You I could don't have, need to refrigerate them or anything. You could have made rations from don't they the, the same body that from the bugbear. You could have made rations. Yeah, from that exactly. Too. Uh, that's a good point. Mm-hmm. Like you have a pick a flick, like we mentioned before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Alistair here. Finally, I get to take a nap. Today has been incredibly long, and I am very ready to be able to go to sleep. This has been the longest I have been awake, possibly ever, I'm not sure. But I am glad to finally be out of that situation with the dogs. If I never see another dog again, it will be too soon. I did notice that Victor and Julian seem very eager to cut and run whenever things start going south. Just leaving me by myself there to to deal with things. But then, as soon as I get out, it seems that I have to rescue them. I think that they could probably do a little better job of taking care of themselves. And for that matter, it seems like they are incredibly distraught through this whole ordeal. I mean, I understand it can be stressful, but at the same time, this is nothing that unusual in the scheme of things. They need to start understanding that there are parts of this world that might be a little strange to normal conventions, and that is simply the way that they are. But once I'm all rested up, we need to figure out a way we might be able to actually get out of here. It seems that, uh, this place has run its course. Perhaps I can convince one of the other two to go through that dirt wall that was mentioned before. I mean, it seems to be the only point of egress we have not tried. And I, for one, will not be the first through it. I will also say that I am actually proud of Victor. He seems to be letting go of that uh, reluctance to do what is necessary. It was actually kind of nice to see him uh, fighting against the dogs so gleefully. But if you have any tips for Victor and Julian to maybe be able to handle themselves a little better, or if you just want to give me your adoration, You can find our social media links at microphonesandmonsters.com. And as always, all music was written by Marco Mazzi of Fallen Highway Studios. Thank you for listening in and hope you join us next time on Microphones and Monsters.